Hi guys, EV Daryl coming back with you. So I got a big question. I need some positive feedback. Uh, you know, I did my battery degradation test last week, kind of an informal, not professional. I did it the best I could do it. And we had a bunch of issues. If you get a chance, watch that video. So this week, since I charged my car to 100% last week, and we started the journey up to Kankakee, Bourbonnet, um, and back, it was about 262 miles round trip. So anyway, I then started to put my car on my timed charging. And for those of you that don't know, um, all, all cars have this now, but Chevrolet had it way back in 2017. Um, you can time the car if you'd like to have it ready. Like I like to have it ready about 5.45 in the morning. I usually take off about 6 a.m. and start Uber driving. So it won't start charging until, well, depending on how low your battery is, uh, until it'll be, and I have mine set at 80%. And it won't start charging until, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning or whenever it needs to start to be done at 5.45 a.m. It'd be at 80%. The battery is warm. I walk out at, you know, 6 o'clock and unplug it, and it's perfect timing. It fully charged, 80%, 90%, 100%, whatever. But it's all on a timer in the dash. And uh, we could go through and do a video on that sometime. I think I did one earlier, way back. But the question I have tonight, ever since last week when we did the battery degradation test, and I possibly have close to 5% battery degradation um, in my informal uh, hillbilly way of doing it. So the next day, uh, no, two days later, I, I took the weekend off. Monday, I Sunday night, I plugged the car in because it was low. I was down to about... I don't know, 30 miles or 40 miles or whatever. And it was going to be ready the next morning at 545. And I looked at the picture now, and you'll see this on the video. I'm going to insert about a 25 second video. It, it, when you plug it in and you get ready to go to bed for the night, it pops up on the center screen for about 30 seconds and shows how much charge you have in the battery and where you're at and it, it has a little area where i've had it stopped and that's 80 percent. so it'll be green up to 80 percent. and then from 80 to 100 percent, there's a gray area it's all gray because you're not charging that right now the strange part is now from about the 90 percent range to the 95 percent range is a black hole that's that's never been there before don't know what that is if anybody has any kind of expertise on batteries you know the haters are going to hate the people that are that don't have a clue like to run their mouths but um i'm looking for a professional is that five percent where my battery is degraded and then 95 to 100 percent is fine um, it's weird. So I stopped by the Chevrolet dealer that I purchased my car from today because I'm still under the full bumper to bumper warranty on it. Um, they, I gave them an image of it. They are going to call me back hopefully tomorrow and we're going to schedule to get it in and have the EV expert that they have there. Hopefully he's a battery expert. I don't know. I don't know what kind of an expert he is, but I'm hoping that he is able to either there's some reprogramming repro or um or they'll say hey that's some degradation in it but but why is it in the 90 to 95 percentile range so all right let me show you that video you guys get a look at it see what you think and i'll be right back with you hang on hmm very concerning. What do you think? 
little help here. So is that not goofy or what? What do you think? Um, I'm going to do another 100% charge on it. And maybe I'll fire up the uh, My Chevrolet app, take it for a drive, and I'll watch it go from 100%, 99, 98, 97. And hopefully, when it gets to 95% or wherever-ish, it doesn't just drop to 90 like that's gone. That part of the battery is gone. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but to make things even worse, you know, as welcome to my life, uh, I was in East Peoria today, and I have, when I'm away from home, if I get free charging at any of the dozens of free chargers that I use, um, I have that set for 100%. So if I'm at Target or I'm over at McDonald's or I'm at any of these chargers for free, if I happen to stop in and I'm at, say, I don't know, 50% or whatever, um, I'm normally not there all the way where it would charge to 100%, but I have it set when I'm on the road, it'll charge immediately as soon as I plug in and it'll charge, it would go to 100% if I just stayed there. So it shows green all the way to 100%. There's no black area, no black blocked out, no nothing on that. So I really don't know what the deal is. You would think if the battery, in fact, has a blank area or a degraded area or something, when I plug it into the full charge on the road, or, you know, that it would do the same thing. It would still show that area as, but it doesn't. It shows it green all the way to 100% with no, no bad area in there at all. So... Um, I'll keep you guys up to date. We'll, we'll figure this out if it's um, degradation, if it's a programming error, if it's something that they can fix. It's under full warranty right now. I've got 32,200 miles on it, I think, after today. Um, when I stopped in at the Chevy dealer today, they weren't able to get to it. I, and I knew they wouldn't. I was just coming through town. And so I stopped, I wanted to actually give them a copy of the picture and actually just show them what's going on, let them talk to the EV expert who was busy today, and then call me. I'm hoping they'll call me tomorrow and schedule it in the next week or so to bring it in. And maybe they can diagnose it. Um, maybe they can't diagnose it. Maybe, I don't know. It's just intriguing. While it was still, you know, I've got up to 36,000 miles, it is uh, bumper to bumper warranty covered. So I want them to look at it and see if it's a battery issue, if it's a charging issue, if it's a home charging issue. I don't know, that seems weird, but I'm using the, the Chevrolet uh, charger that they sent with me when the car was new and they gave to me. So, um, there shouldn't be any charging issues and it's in the same place all the time. So it appears to be in the car's battery. That's the, the location of it. So, um, when you look at it and it's, and it, and I don't know the exact range, but when you saw that video, it's somewhere in the 90 to 95% right range is where the black hole is like, there's nothing there. It's gray in front of it, gray after it. I don't know. So I'm needing some assistance. I want to get some of the, uh, the Internet's opinions of what that is prior to getting it in the shop to find out what the shop's idea is. Um, I, I know there's tons of knowledge, battery knowledge, uh, EV experts that are out there that know this kind of, uh, oh yeah, this is what it is, or, or that's, you know, like that's where your degradation is in the battery. It doesn't have to be the last 5%. That's, it's there. So I don't know if it just skips over that when you get to that, you know, if in fact that's what it is. Um, but it's very intriguing to, 
to me, and it kind of, it, you know, a little concerning because I don't know what that is. Um, once I charge it to 100%, like I said, within the next few days, I'll do that. And then I'll do a follow-up video on that probably before it even gets into Chevrolet, unless they call me tomorrow and want it rushed in there. So, um, you know, any uh, comments you would have in reference to this, I'd appreciate it. Kind of, I don't know. It's really uh, different. So look at that video again, that section of the video. See exactly what I'm talking about. You can stop it. You can zoom in on it and you'll, you can see, you can see the blank area. So just, uh, again, those of you that are battery experts, EV experts, please chime in. Um, I would appreciate any assistance you got. Um, and we'll go from there. So without any further ado, uh, please like and subscribe. We're trying to build this tiny, tiny channel. Uh, and any kind of videos you'd like to see, let me know. I'm up for them. We're doing it. All right. Stay safe. Continue to make good choices, people. And God bless you.